Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. So, this video is going to be, it was his idea, okay? So, that means when you're dating a guy, if you're in a relationship and you have a hard time getting your way, make it seem like it was his idea, okay? Now, how do you do this? You plant little subtle clues and hints that will lead up to him coming up with the idea in his own mind like if you want to go somewhere in particular um first of all you got to make him feel smart intelligent and like it was his idea so there's a restaurant that y'all both know that's really nice right uh, pretend you can't remember the name pretend like you know that restaurant on such and such street over there on that side of town I, I can't remember the name they have really good you know sushi or whatever um yeah, it's on the tip of my tongue we should go there we really should go there and he's gonna be like um and then he's gonna he's gonna guess the name because you know he wants to be like seen as smart he's gonna, he's gonna uh oh yeah such and such uh restaurant and you're gonna be like yeah so you want to go and he'll and then he'll say hmm I'm like, you know, I could not think of that name. You have such a good memory. Oh, my God. I wish I had your memory. Um, but, yeah, so we're going there now, right? I'm going to call and make uh, reservations now that I know the name. Thanks to you. Thank you, honey. And he's going to be like, wait, I didn't say yes. I didn't say no. She was asking me the name. I gave it to her. I guess that means I said yes. So, <laughs> that's one way. Okay. Another way is, like, if you're, uh, if you don't want to do something, like, if you don't want to drive somewhere, if you want him to go get something for you, and you, you just don't want to leave your house, if you want him to bring you something because you don't want to leave your house, um, tell him you have something of his, that he needs to come get it. And... If he asks what it is, say, I, I don't want, I don't know, um, I don't want to tell you over the phone, but I want you to just come get it. I, I just want you to see what it is. I don't know what this is, but uh, it's, it's hard to explain. He'll be like, well, take a picture of it or something like that. And it's like, you know, no, I don't want, I just want, I want you to just come get this, okay? But he's going to be like, oh my God, what did I leave at her house? Or what did she find? And da, 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 da. Like, if y'all are in a relationship or was it a surprise, is it sex? You know, get him excited to come over there and like, and then say, oh, on your way, could you bring me, um, whatever you need? <laughs> oh, on your way, could you bring me some, uh, some gum or some ice cream? Or on the way, could you bring me, um, some dish washing liquid? I just ran out. I just remember it says you're already going to come over here. Um, my, can you just pick it up? I'll pay you when you get here. And he'll go and get, <laughs> pick it up, bring it to you. And like, so what did you find? What did you find? And you come, uh. And you say, you know what? I found this receipt, but it wasn't yours. It was my sister's receipt, and I'm so sorry. Uh, it was a receipt to um, name something like really embarrassing, like, uh, like, what would be a really embarrassing place that you would be concerned about? Like, uh, well, it, it was to like a clinic and like a doctor's office and I just want to know if there's something you wanted to tell me Like I wanted to be here for you if you needed comforting <laughs> But it was my sister's so I, so I threw it away. She told me to throw it away Bam, you got your dishwasher liquid. Didn't have to get dressed to go to the store. Okay uh, <laughs> Make it seem like it was his idea or you know, it's It's okay to do this because a lot of times they like doing stuff for you and you have to get them used to it so that when you do ask in a nice honest way they'll be more than happy to do it because now you know they know that they're gonna do these things for you anyway so um, so the next time you'll be like you know what honey I, I really don't feel like getting up out of the house I just really don't feel good could you please bring me this and that and it won't you won't seem needy after you've already gotten him to come over the first time and he's done it. Now I'll just make him feel like he's lazy and he just doesn't want to do it. And if he doesn't continue to do it, it's like, okay, well, you don't love me anymore. You know, you did it last time. And why can't you do it this time? And blah, 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 blah. 
You know, some women like their men to do stuff for them to show love, to show appreciation. You know, you might, he might not be the richest man in the world or have the most money, but if he's willing to get up and go buy you something from the store that you need or bring you something that you need from his house over all the way to your house, uh, if he's willing to do that, you know he cares, you know. So a lot of times women test men to see if they'll do stuff like that. Okay, so um, other ways to get men to think things were their idea. You would tell them a story and you would say, you know what this guy did for this lady? Uh, he said that he um, proposed to her on Valentine's Day, let's tell him some stupid story. He proposed to her on Valentine's Day, but she said no because he wasn't, you know, he didn't have enough money or he, he, they didn't know each other long enough or he didn't know if she was the one and da 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 da. da. Well, and then ask him, well, how would you know if you were the, if, if I was the one? Like, would you ever propose to me if um, you thought I was going to say no? And then you all start talking about proposals and marriage and stuff like that. And then he'll start saying all this stuff and it's being supplanted into his subconscious mind. So he's like, you know, I would never ask any woman to marry me that I was not sure they would say yes. Uh, I would hope that she would love me enough to say yes. And, um, you know, if if we ever and then he'll start talking, as, he'll t start talking like we, us. You know, if I ever ask you to marry me, I hope that you would say yes. And then this is your opportunity to say, oh, well, you know what? I guarantee you, if you ask me, you won't be, you know, in that situation. So basically you're saying you might, you might say yes, but you haven't said yes for sure, but Basically, you're not going to be in that same situation, which means it could go either way. Like, okay, well, you're not going to be in that same situation because uh, I'm not going to say no in front of all these people, but that doesn't mean I'm going to say yes either. You know, just kind of hint around, but now he's got in his mind. The image is there. It's burned in. He's already imagined getting down on one knee. And then, then you can start the conversation. Well, how would you propose to me if you were to propose? And then he'll start talking about it. And now you've sucked him into talking about getting married, proposal, couple, how he, how he would do it better than this guy. Because, you know, with guys, it's all about competition. So you just read him this cheesy story about how this guy proposed so bad and the woman said no. And try to make him out, be able to outdo him, you know, um, in the conversation like oh what would you have done different or why don't you think that worked or what would you do differently um and then he'll be like well if i propose i'm not going to tell you because it's going to be a surprise so now you know he's thinking of you as a wife okay wife material but if he just tells you all the details down to the last thing that means you know if he does propose it's going not it's it might not be to you because he's just giving you in the surprise away so <laughs> You gotta like read between the lines. I'm sorry y'all like my, I'm like all tongue tied today. Sorry. I hadn't had enough coffee obviously. So yes, make make him think things are his idea. Get him into the conversation, pull him in, trick him to getting into these conversations with you so that you know where he stands, okay? Um, if Okay, so if he doesn't wanna introduce you to his friends or family and you're like, you know what? It's time for me to meet these people. You know, I think I've done a video on this, but here's how to do it even better. First of all, if you want to meet his family, you have to ask him straight up, am I ever going to meet your family? And he he's either going to say yes or no, or I don't know um, if it's a good time right now. He'll just make up some excuse. But whatever he says, here's your comeback. Well, family is very important to me, and I just would really love to meet your family before we go any further in this relationship. Um, it's very important to me, and just leave it at that. So now he has an ultimatum, but it's not really a direct threat. It's like, you know, I really want to meet your family before I go any further into this relationship. Because this lets him know that you're serious, 
and this lets him know that you will leave and this lets him know that he needs to get on it and introduce you to his family if he wants to keep you as a girlfriend okay and follow through like if he does not want to introduce you to his family and you've given him the ultimatum and you've made it clear that it's very important for you to meet his family blah 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 blah, blah. you've already introduced him to her to your family then you just tell him straight up well and don't like don't take all the blame it's like well you know what my family said that you know since you have not introduced me to your family that i must not be the one for you and they're really you know they're really kind of thinking that i should move on and you know i love you so much but they're right you know you've already met them you know all their names you've seen them many times on many occasions and i have not met your family at all so you know i do want to share holidays i want to do this and i want to do that so i'm just going to have to let you know that you know i really need to meet your family before this relationship can go any further so i can know you know where we stand and it's not i'm not trying to rush you into anything i just think that you've met my family why can't i meet yours and then he'll go into it he'll be like well if something is wrong, he'll be like, oh, well, they're in jail or, oh, they don't live here and da 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 They'll make, he'll make up something because sometimes it'll be a lie and you have to catch them in the lie. So, um, you'll say, okay, well, you know, we tried and, um, I just, you know, I really need to, you know, there's Skype. You, I'm sure you talk to some members of your family. There's, you know, you have siblings, aunts, uncles, da 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 you haven't introduced me to any of them so that lets me know that you don't see me as imp uh, important enough to introduce you to your family so I'm not gonna waste any more time in this relationship because you know I'm still young and I still have time to venture out and do other things you know you're not the only person that's out there uh, and I'm just I I feel like I'm more important to myself than I am to you because I've introduced you to my family you won't introduce me to your family so therefore everything is off balance now and I don't want to be in an unbalanced relationship so I gotta go okay and then he'll be like okay I'm gonna introduce you to somebody I don't know he'll find somebody to introduce you to y'all uh, a lot of ladies ask me well when is he gonna introduce me to his family when is he gonna introduce me to his family and you know if you're weird if you fly off the handle if you have a bad attitude if you're negative if you do anything that will embarrass him, he's not going to introduce you to his family, girl. Y'all, you're going to have to be on your best behavior. You're going to have to not use curse words. You're going to have to have good manners. You know, if you're going to be brought home to mom, you need to be able to dress respectable. He might not want to bring you around because you don't dress nice or enough to meet his parents. You know, he, he might just be, you know, having his fun with you. But the real woman that he plans to bring home is, you know, well put together um, nicely dressed, has a clean mouth, as far as, you know, cursing, uh, you know, impressive, has some credentials and stuff like that. So if you look at yourself and you realize, you know, I'm not that impressive, you know, if, if he introduces me to his mom, dad, sister, brother, and there's nothing for him to tell rather than, oh, this is my girlfriend, of course he's not going to want to introduce me to them because you know I don't bring anything you know of value to this relationship you know I'm I don't I'm not good at you know I don't have any talents I don't have any skills uh, I'm just blah so you know try to improve upon yourself take a cooking class start cooking um, you know take an art class so he'll have something to brag on you about oh she's a great artist oh she's an art class oh she's uh, painter in transition or I don't know he'll have something to say and how to introduce you okay so ladies get something for him to be proud of as well because when you, when you introduce a guy to your family you want to be proud of him too okay so you know my battery's blinking that means I gotta go so I'll see y'all later thank y'all so much for watching if you have any questions or video requests uh, put them in the um, comments and I'll see what I can do okay